Hi, Christopher Hughes for BoatTest.com, and today we're going to test and review an all-new hull design from Beneteau. They call it AirStep. This unique new design takes the unusual approach of venting air out through the bottom of the hull and significantly modifying the shape of the aft third of the hull area. The simple fact is that a boat hull, no matter how large or small, when traveling through the water creates drag, and this drag affects its speed and how much power is needed to push it through the water. The traditional approach to overcome this drag has been to add more power or through the use of a traditional stepped hull, which reduces handling and turning characteristics. Beneteau's solution was radically different with the idea that they would reduce the drag at the source by introducing and directing a cushion of air under a very specific part of the running surface. In the air step design, they introduce the air through the hull, prevent it from venting out the sides, then release it from the aft section of the hull. This design allows for more contact area further to the sides of the running surface, which adds stability. Let's start by taking a closer look at the hull design. We are going to use a Beneteau Barracuda 9 as our test boat today, but we have tested the AirStep hull on four other models produced by Beneteau. Beginning our look at the bow and working our way aft, we have a traditional design with a sharp entry and bow thruster ports. There are three full length lifting strakes and notice how the bottom of the strakes are parallel to the waterline. To the outside is a 4 inch chine that carries all the way aft, has a flare about two thirds of the way back, and a slight reverse on it at the transom. Here at just about two thirds of the way aft, we see the major features of the air step design. We have a five and a half inch cutout, which is the location for the twin two inch ducts where the air is introduced. The air is drawn in through these small ports located about 36 inches off the deck on each side of the pilot house. Back down at the hull, aft of the air ducts is the control area I mentioned earlier, which includes a 2 inch recessed step outboard and a smaller 3 quarter step inboard, which defines the low drag running surface. This view shows the dramatic nature of the air step design. From the point the air is introduced, through the low drag running surface, to the exit point. Note the additional cutout at the transom. This cutout measures six and a quarter inches long and eight inches deep. At the transom looking forward, we can see the position of the engines. In this case, a twin outboard setup. For our operational test, we headed out onto Buzzards Bay off South Dartmouth, Massachusetts. The weather was bad with a heavy chop, 20 mile an hour winds and intermittent downpours. The first item on my agenda was to test how quickly we would get up on plane. I had a little more than half a tank of fuel and five people on board. Making several runs in opposite directions, we averaged a time to plane of 3.6 seconds, but more importantly, it felt as if the aft end was lifting up on plane as I was adding power almost immediately. With twin Yamaha 225 horsepower outboards on our test boat, we recorded an average of 0 to 20 miles per hour time of 5.4 seconds and 0 to 30 miles per hour in only 8.4 seconds. When it came to turning at speed, I found her to be particularly responsive to the helm inputs. Even in quick S turns, she stayed relatively level and responded quickly and cleanly. I could feel the chines holding well in the turns. When I ran her at lower speeds, the hull never bogged down. The bow stayed level as I gradually applied power up to full planing speed. Let's look at some conclusions. First, I feel the boat didn't need nearly the power installed and I would have done just as well on this hull with twin 150s. Second, I definitely felt that this design allowed the boat to feel like it was riding smoother even though we were in a heavy chop. Third, the hull feels lighter and faster on the water than you would expect. So all in all, I can confidently say that the airstep hull design performs very well. This airstep design is offered on several Beneteau models across a variety of size ranges. For BoatTest.com, I'm Christopher Hughes.